Back to Pizza Tower! It's Pizza Tower time! Time for pizza! Time for Pizza Tower! You ready for Pizza Tower? You know, I can't wait for Pizza Tower 2 when the, uh, little Caesar or the little Roman guy is one of the bosses. I can't wait for it. Because there are a couple references to pizza's past. There should be a uh, second Pizza Tower game, but Peppino's not in it. It's just some other guy we've never heard of. <laughs> and then we can, and then it just be for a while the two Pizza Towers. And then in the third one, it'll be Return of the King. <laughs> oh, and it's funny I like because it. this this is Pizza Scape. It's like a medieval themed level now. I love this level. This, it's so funny. This is uh, where the game really begins. Mm. This is the first actual level. John Gutter. Yeah, yeah, that was a warm-up. So we, <laughs> so we got our taunt here, we're getting to our first chef's task. Ooh, okay. That was a parry. It's a very short range, but if you taunt at just the right ah! at, at just the right level, just just the right area, you can parry. <laughs> what was that hyper-realistic Chad face that Pepino had? It's, it's, it's how he parries. He parries with his with his that whole was face. So good. This is our first chef's <laughs> task. It's called Shining Armor. It's, it's, it's called a Spoon Knight, actually. We have to parry ten of these Fork Knights. Holy crap, that was awesome! So, uh, I know this takes a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, ideas from Wario Land. I, my first thought was these are the Spearmen from the Wario Land series. They essentially serve the same purpose. Yeah. They only attack from one side. You can stun them, or at least, you know, put some, <laughs> put the fear of God in them. <laughs> They're 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 yellow. They have they have a spear, which means that you can't run into them at at. Uh... Holy shit! Already? Yep. Wow. Means, means you can't run into them with your with your uh, super powerful attack here. <laughs> okay, the TV in the top right corner <laughs> sends me sometimes. That I think is based on a Royco <laughs> cup of soup. Of all of all the of all the references, I didn't expect that. Oh check it. Oh. Oh right. Oh. Uh, Bowling Man. That was spherical. You have to kill an enemy in ball form, and uh, you don't really know how to turn into a ball in this one because you're just running through here. You kill the enemy that turns you into a ball, you wouldn't even know. Oops. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Some enemies respawn immediately if they're needed for movement? Yes. So there, there are enemies that do respawn. You'll see when they come out of briefcases. Mm. But they only add to your combo once. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I think they can save your combo, but they won't add to it. No infinite combo here. No infinite combo, but you can at least, like, you know, probably stay there and have your combo going for a while. The night power-up is so fun, because if you go down... Pepino is so heavy in his suit of armor, he will only go straight forward if he goes down a slope. That's that's a nice touch. So here. Boom. Yep. There? Oh yeah. I'm not really a big fan of speed games because that's not how I play games really. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, oh, yep, yep. Got comboed. That's where I got got the first time. I lost it when I saw that screen the first time. <laughs> <laughs> like the spaghetti sauce, the fake death. It's so great. Or the pizza sauce, excuse me. The family guy death uh, pose there with the arm of Slender. <laughs> that has been used so many times. I didn't realize how many times Family Guy had been parodied for it's like flopped over funny, you know, fake death. There's actually a cut taunt where he has like a Peter Griffin kind of, uh, you know, <laughs> but they, they cut that from the demo. Oh, no. The second secret. I swear the secret was taken out of Super Metro where you gotta like run down those slopes and all that. that oh, yeah. I, I swear it's from Super That's Metro. almost, uh, it's, it's not Meridia. Where is it? I think it's Brinstar. Yeah, I think. Where that happens? Green Brinstar, I think. Green Brinstar, yeah. These, I think, are Pizza Sony, those guys who backed the game. Oh, I think this was Patreon funded. Holy shit. That's awesome. Good job, man. This is, it's hey, I'm working on a game, because I think this game was meant to be like, it, it was a it was a webcomic, and then it was supposed to be like an RPG maker style survival horror game, but it didn't have the kind of expression that he wanted to do with the animation Whee! capabilities of RPG maker. So he went to Game Maker, and then it turned into this, and then he redesigned it, and then he got a composer, and then he got stuff, and here we are! I hadn't heard of this game until you introduced it to me. I didn't even know there was a demo, so what's different from the demo here? Uh, a few cut animations, like, uh, there's apparently some old versions of music where it does the actual Wario Land, you know? Like, hey, ah, oh, 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 okay. Ah. Kind of had to differentiate from it. But this song in particular sounds like you're making a, a, a Wario Land 4 game. Yes. I've been, uh, 
I've been in love with this soundtrack ever since oh, it, no the kidding. game came out. It's it's a, it's amazing. One thing that makes my makes my heart go freaking doki doki <laughs> is when uh, when the song "It's Pizza Time" comes on, and people insert their own "Hurry Up" because <laughs> they know it just screams Wario, and I'm happy about that. Dude, that song has "You're Ready to Get Funky," which I think is from Jet Set Radio. <laughs> Where's that mishmash we've been looking for? Right here! The most here. important part of dance is music. Let us first listen to the Whee! music and identify the beat. <laughs> I do like how we have to go talk to a, basically a cleric or a pope. It's, it's, it's just it's, like, it's please a, get rid of my knightly hood, please. It's, it's a priest and he absolves you of all, of all <laughs> sin. And he's, he, he truly is Italian, you know? Pepino's absolution! <laughs> Being absolved by a priest! Oh, it's great! Oh, that was some nice tech. Nice tech. Kind of serves as a catch-all, uh, make me not be what I am anymore. Precisely, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I know you're meant to play these levels over and over again just to get, uh, just to get, uh, the lay of the land, so what's, to speak. What's our next secret? It's a plate of spaghetti! Oh, delicious. We got, gotta have some spaghetti, you know, pasta sides in pizza places are pretty common. What's what's the joke from the office? You know, you gotta you gotta carb up before your big race, and right, you're racing yeah. back to the beginning. So right, yeah. yeah, gotta gotta carbo load. There we go. Got a carbo load. Already got that secret. Yep. How oh, have we gotten two? We've got uh, how many secrets have we gotten? Oh, we got two so far. Where's the third one? There it is. Right here. Yeah. You can only get some secrets after hitting the John Gutter block. So in secrets, your time does Wee. not come does, does does not count down. Oh, that's good. I, I totally forgot about that. Your combo counts down, but not your timer. That's perfection, actually. Ooh, looking good on score right now. Yeah, we got plenty of time. Yeah, we, 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 bas we basically made it. You can see that gold bar up there for the S rank. Yep, I see it, but it's not nearly enough. It's, it's not enough, because we, we, I don't think we got enough of those toppings. If we did a second lap, we could, but we can't do a second lap on the first go-around, so we have to... Stick with the A rank. Ta-da! Good run, good run. Not bad, though. I like Pizza Escape. Yeah! Very nice! So we got two of the three uh, chef's tasks. We got uh, the parry ten of fork knives, we got kill the ball form, and now there's one to get to all the priests without bumping into walls in the night suit. That doesn't seem too hard. It doesn't seem too hard unless you know the- like, it seems hard until you know the tech. Ooh, Mr. Stick knows you got a lot of money. So this means you don't have to collect every toppin, but of course you want to collect every toppin. You gotta save all the little toppins. Of course you do. Look at them. All they have are eyes and legs. It's a sad, <laughs> sad existence being a toppin. So you can't stop when you're going forward uh, in the night form, of course. Mm -hmm. So you need to actually drop down, like do that, do that drop down plunge attack. If you want to have any any control in the air, I'll show you what I mean here. Oh, I never even thought of that. Oh, I I feel silly now. I should have known Dang. to do that. Uh, that. No, you just wanted to get on that platform with the top. And I, I totally understand. Right. So the idea is you, you do you do oh. this. Oh. See, yep. You did it. See. Yeah. That's that's what you're trying to avoid. That's the, that's the exact thing you're trying to avoid. So you can do the the downward stab and that stops you dead in your tracks. Uh huh. Oh. I gotcha. Okay, there's that's pretty lot, neat. There's a lot of walls. Yeah. Like, an amazing amount of walls. But if you know what, if you know what to expect, and you get your, you get the route, uh -huh. then, then you'll be fine. So here we go. I love this secret like Metroid that. game that you've got me looking at. Yeah. There we go. Just downward down stab. Like that. Boom. Yeah. Cool. And there's one priest. I kind of love the name of the rats around here. The the big rats that you have to get out of the way with the night suit. Brick. I think it's the name of one rat. Oh, it's only the one rat? The guys fighting in the hallway are uh, Gustavo and Brick. Gustavo is our other chef friend, and Brick is the rat. This one's easy, just there you go. Oh yeah, that's that's simplistic. You don't you don't need to get that, that top and if you don't want to, or if you already got him. Have, yeah. you, have you actually seen some of the comic from Pizza Tower? That is a milk. <laughs> <laughs> That's not milk, Italian man. Go! 
This one's this one's tricky. Oh, I like I actually like this one. I was wondering how you were gonna do this one. It's just constant downward stabs as you basically you know, break through everything. Make sure that you don't uh, go too fast though. And there you got go. Got it. Perfect. E easy every time. <laughs> Good job, Italian man. Oh, thank you. God. And then of course there's all the fanimations out there. <laughs> Oh, no, it was hate that he's What? <laughs> <laughs> I went to the a cup of soup. <laughs> Can you link those, please? <laughs> Everybody needs to see these. <laughs> <laughs> the fans, men with Roy Gold, cup of soup. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> <laughs> to self in bed with Royko Kapusu. This game makes me giggle <laughs> so much just because of it's a cartoon. It's a living, breathing cartoon. I love it. This one seems self-explanatory. Yep, yep, there it is. You uh, almost ran into the wall there. That's right. Hey, you got, you got there, there you go. But uh, now escape pizza face. Hey, while we're here. Oh yeah. Let's try a second lap. Okay. Yep. Got the task. Got the treasure. Got. Let's show off a second lap. Let's go. Okay, Mr. Crazy Man. I mean, you're not going for that S rank, but I understand. You just want to show off for your friend. I under I get it. I mean, if we can do a, a second lap, I don't see why not. It's not like they're the most difficult thing to do. Mm, depends on what level you're playing. I'm playing at a very high level, so it must be easy for me. Ooh, <laughs> Mr. Do... High Level Italian over yeah, here. Yeah, that's Mr. High Level Italian. <laughs> do you actually get special powers if you're playing Pizza Tower with Italian blood in you? Because I've seen a couple New Yorkers uh, play this, so uh, I wonder if the Sicilian's coming out. New Yorkers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, New York makes the best pizza. Oh, d no, no, uh, Chicago makes the best pizza. How about a real Sicilian kitchen, huh? Yeah, have, yeah how about a Columbus-style pizza, huh? <laughs> Pack on those fucking pepperonis. You use real sauce that you that wouldn't embarrass your mother. I was waiting for it. I was, it, it was coming out eventually. <laughs> Episode two, baby. Show me that second lap. All right, here we go. Our score already took a big jump right there, and you can see things are are kind of gone. M most of the hazards are already gone. Well, you uh, you get a, a score bump just for taking lap J two. Yep, just for taking. It's like, all right, you think you can do it? Go ahead. I can't wait till you surprise me and we get that S right at the very end. It's gonna be amazing. If I do really good in, in a level, I might just, you know, say, all right, here, here's an S rank for it because I gotta fill for time. Hey, that's fine. Oh, you don't have to fill for time for me. Any time for Pizza Tower is fine by me. I had this set up as a perfectly sliced pizza. With... Well, I'm not gonna spoil how many slices we're getting, but we're getting a pretty decent sized pizza. It's a... It's a, it's a... It's a shack-sized pizza, if I've ever seen it's one. A, it's a 14-inch pizza, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Have you actually seen some <laughs> so, some of the, the different types of pizza they're trying to peddle these days? It's just like, oh yeah, Pizza Hut New York-style pizza. It's just like, no, it's not. I've tried that Detroit-style pizza where they put the sauce on top, and, you know, it, it's not bad. The sauce is good, so no complaint from me. I just, I just need a good, decent sauce that has spices on it. You know, give me that oregano, that basil, that parsley, that yeah, garlic. Most you know. of them come out too sweet for me. Is that weird to say? Which pizzas you have? The wrong kind, apparently. Uh, apparent, apparently. Yeah. You have Domino's or something? Oh, I don't touch Domino's. Oh, good. That's, that's like the Dasani of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want some of that fake water pizza. Well, here, here's the boss door. We're not going to be taking it on today, but uh, you can just come over here anytime and uh, unlock it. But hey, the man, yeah. Going on to our next stage. There's one right there. Here's the door to is, the next floor. Oh, where's my favorite NPC? Oh, shoot. Is this it? Ah, oh, no, it's not my favorite NPC. Oh, oh. here's our, uh, our oh, closet. Yeah. Basically everything I already did in my last playthrough, I had to sadly delete it to make room for this. Oh, so. it actually tells you what you got. Yeah, so I, 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 I got all this. Let's wear a... Unfunny Cook. It's basically getting a combo of 75 or more. That makes you unfunny? Well, because, I guess you're all business because at that you're, point. Because it's an unfunny combo. Oh, Ooh. okay. Next up is Ancient Cheese. Ancient Cheese. Ancient Cheese. This is a pretty good one, too. You know, a lot of these stages, because I've been playing Pizza Tower as slow as possible, Pepino would not be proud of me. I just don't remember any of these stages, so this is going to be a good uh, a good look through the game. First secret. 
Oh, nice. I will say, the game hits different when you get that awesome combo and you leave with an A rank. It just... It, like, mm. it looks harder than it actually is. Agreed, yeah. Like, it, like it, it, it is hard. It is challenging. You, it, it will uh, test your reflexes, and you will need to have some dexterity in order to in order to beat this game. I just think I need to find the right controller, because the PS4 is just not doing it for me. Maybe you need to hook up an Xbox controller or something like that. It's like my, my fight pad has this nice D-pad. It's nice and cushy, so good for control. Ooh, bombs! Yep, we're using bombs now! The achievements we have here is uh, clearing the stage without getting hit by an explosion. But well, we're, we're gonna, <laughs> but, uh, it's not going to be this one. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, it's the first time through. Volley bomb. You, you throw a bomb at a, at a rat that was thrown by an enemy. And, oh, okay. And uh, crumbling more than 41 sets of those cheese blocks. These these ones right here. Oh, okay. If, oh, okay. If you're going for everything, you'll probably get it right away. Mm. Not not that hard to get. I think I got this one on accident. The getting hit by explosions one is going to be the one that'll that'll uh, test your metal. By the way, I love the guys with the uh, the fencing epes. Yeah. Like those are so mozzarella sticks. Get the, out of here. Those ones will actually like you know charge after you. Right, right. They're coming full force. All right, so this is not the best place to do it, but what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to use this bomb yeah, to take out this rat. There's a better way to do it, but I'm just trying to do it here. Oh, that's... Yeah, you, you nearly had it there. I mean, you can use... You're supposed to use that bomb to kill that rat, but, uh... You can, no, 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 no. You can use this one, but, Check you know... It. Well... <laughs> also, this kind of is teaching you how to use the, uh, the bombs. If you're up in the air... You throw it up. If you're on the ground, you throw it down. Oh, what? Oh, I didn't know that. That's what I'm finding out here. That had a short fuse. There we go. There's that. That's, 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 a, that's a complicated, inefficient way of doing it. Don't listen to me. I'm a dummy. Could even use this one right here. This would have been even better. You're just a pizza guy. I'm just a pizza guy. I don't think there's enough time, actually, for this one. I, you almost had yeah, it. Yeah, whatever. Use this one. Whoop. Yep. There you go. Do you have a favorite stage? I'm sure we'll hit it eventually if you do have an actual favorite oh, stage. Oh, favorite stage. Man, there's so, there's so many. The you you could have used that one. That would have been a perfect one for me. The variety in here is like going to CeCe's Pizza. Except, you know, I should probably come up with a pizza place with more quality. <laughs> CC's is definitely quantity over quality. And there's, there's some quality, but then they give you like you know the the, the lunch pizza, as I called it, the ham, bell pepper, and peanut butter one. Who, who, who would want this one? Mm, not me. I went to a CC's recently, and it sucked. I haven't been to a CC's in years. It used to be like the treasure. That used to be my standard for... Peanut butter! Hey, look at that! Oh, no! This would be perfect for my pizza! Let's go! Let's go make it the peanut butter pizza! Uh, <laughs> okay, no. Whoa! <laughs> That's gonna help on your uh, clearing the cheese blocks achievement. Mm -hmm. Definitely. You used to work at an Italian restaurant. Yeah, wasn't that great. I thought you had a, a poor of an anecdote there. No, I'm just throwing that out there because we also had a pizza side. And, you know, handmade dough and all that, but Yo. I, don't, I don't know. Our ingredients just weren't doing it. That place actually closed down, unfortunately. Oh, dear. But it was uh, an Italian family-run business. You know what pizza I really don't like? What's that? Papa John's. If you catch me on the right day, I could I could stomach a couple slices, but not by much. Like, I'll, I'll eat it if it's there. I'm not going to fucking pay money for it. I'm not going to pay money for the world's blandest fucking pizza. I actually had to, like, update their recipe for them. I do chicken bacon ranch whenever I go there. And that's, like, the only time I'm like, yeah, okay, we can do this. Is it really even a pizza at that point? I mean, yeah, it's it's fake, but I'll, I'll take a chicken bacon ranch anytime. I see you're doing the cheese blocks yeah, yeah, here. Trying to, yeah. You're just showing off every aspect of the level. It's, it's great. Of course, yeah. Every single inch. Check, every check single it. level. Up, up, yeah, this up. one took me a, a couple tries. I ah! So the idea is I just... There, there we go. Who puts a bomb in a suitcase? Come on! 
pizza face. <laughs> well. Because I think it's also uh, John Gutter who's uh, pissing me off, too. Or, or I, I pissed off. I got problems with this area. Ah, I just can't make the jump! Yeah. <laughs> hey, your mom loves you. Mama loves you. I sight that cast. <laughs> Pizza face? What are you doing? Oh, no. oh my god, dude. <laughs> hey, at least you got the style points in midair. <laughs> there we go. Hey, <laughs> chef desk. What? Who ordered the hunk of cheese? Mm, big old hunk of cheese. Uh, th that'd be me. Take a big old bite out of it. That actually sounds good. You know, get the right cheese. Aged cheddar, maybe. Just take a big old bite out of it. Mm. Uh oh. Oh, there it is. This way, this Thanks, way. Gustavo. I like how the characters are telling you where to go. That's that's very helpful. That was extremely helpful my first time. I was like, thank God these guys are here, because I get lost in some of these levels, this especially the later ones. This game does really good conveyance, you know, having the characters point to where you should go. Like, he was pointing at a shortcut. I could have just, you know, ran up here and gone that way. There's enemies showing up where I should be going. Uh, th those new clocks that I can only get when escape time is on. Uh, they they tell me where to go as well. Ooh, speaking of which, we got to the second half of the song. This is when you're running out of time. That means like, oh, you better hurry. It's a, if you're still here, I don't think you got enough time to do a second lap there. Hurry up, will you? I'm done. I'm getting there. We're right here anyway. Wario is happy. So is Pepino. Because, hey! <laughs> Very nice. I got to see Avengers, eh? <laughs> That's all them tappings. Tony Stark funded Pepino's restaurant. Hell yeah. Alright. We're gonna get the last achievement, which is uh, clearing the stage without getting hit by an explosion. Nice. <gasps> <gasps> is that like the statue of pizza's past? He feels the gravity of his, of his legacy upon him. Live up to our expectations, Pepino. You will be the next Tumblr sexy man. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it. He's got some years on him, as we'll find out later. He's a veteran. Bald is beautiful, and he's proving it every day. Is he bald under that hat? Oh, very. Oh. Oh, very. Maybe I just haven't seen the uh, the title cards, like all of them, to see him with his hat off. He's got an aisle animation where he does like, you know, this, Hello, my baby! Oh, Hello, that's my right! I he's, have seen that. He's, okay. he's, he's, he's very bald. That's all right. He's rocking it. Can't afford ingredients, can't even afford Rogaine. <laughs> oh, I mean, which would you rather have? The best ingredients or the best hair? Dude. Really, there's no Dude. difference. Better ingredients, Blander Pizza, Papa John's. There's, there's no taste. I know, there's no taste. I don't like how they do their dough. Well, especially it's, it's, these it's like days. It's like bread, they, they made a sandwich, not a pizza! Well, go with me on this. Recently, have the pizzas that have always hit not hit as often? Maybe it's just my taste changing, but man, some of the pizzas I used to be like, oh yeah, I want to go here. They're, they're just not hitting as, as good. Have you thought about making your own? I've considered it. All right, how's this sound? A little, little, little pizza recipe for all you, for all you folks at home. What you got? You gotta have a good sauce, though. Mm -hmm. you gotta make sure you have a good sauce. Make sure you make sure you get like a pizza blend cheese from the from the grocery. Not you know, mozzarella, all that. Pizza blend. It's cheese that's specifically made to be on pizza. And you get your pepperoni, of course. You know, whatever. But as for, as for your dough, you get biscuits. Biscuit dough. Biscuit okay. dough. Before you bake them, you, 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 pre you, you press the edge of the sauce can into them so it makes like a little bit. Mm. You, you put your sauce in, you cheese all that, you cook the pizza in there. Man, you get the flakiest, most delicious pizza. And you get like those those uh, those layer those layered ones. What you do is then you take the bottom layers, you tear that off, you put it on top, and there's your pizza sandwich, boyo. Oh damn, he's got it down to a science. He doesn't he doesn't fuck up pizza. I was born from pizza, you know. <laughs> I am pizza. <laughs> I was, I was, my mother was a few days away from, from, uh, you know, her, uh, her, her due date, and I said, "Oh, hey, we'll go down to this uh, local pizzeria." Yeah, you know, yeah. Took, took a bite of that pizza, and she's like, "Oh." And I was born that day. <laughs> my brother, my brother shares a similar story. <laughs> I am pizza. Our family is pizza. <laughs> 
<laughs> we don't have so, a family treat. We have a family pizza pie. So, uh, so as you can see, pizza is a very important part of my life. And this is why this was your game of the year for the beginning of the year. It's it's still up there. Oh, good. It is still good. pretty up there. I mean, yeah, yeah, Resi 4. Yeah, Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, Street Fighter 6. But Pizza Tower is, is rubbing elbows with them, certainly. I do love that uh, yeah, I can't you, you right. shortly after you beat this game, you're like, Dude, I think we need to talk about Pizza Tower. I was like, yeah, we can do that. Um, it just came out, though. So uh, how, about, how about we, uh, you know, keep this in the oven for a little bit? Well, I, I think we've achieved a very good well-done bake now. Exactly. Now that everybody's had a chance to thoroughly dissect this game and to, you know, for speedruns to happen at an official GDQ, which is great. <laughs> Everybody go out and buy this. What is it, like 20 bucks? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Steal. It's a, he, said, he said it would be around the price of a pizza. You know what? He nailed it. Holy crap, that's that's brilliant. Uh, I just gotta get there. I mean, we, we, Come on, we, you're we, almost there. We avoided most of the explosions so far. So you're talking about pizza that uh, doesn't hold up anymore. I've got I've got one for you. Donato's? Little Caesars. Well, Donato's holds up great for me. Uh, it doesn't hold up as much for me anymore. It's a bit saltier than I remember. Yeah. And but it's not but, just because I'm angry all the time. But, I, but Little Caesars do, doesn't hold up to me. No, the, it, it, that five dollar pizza box doesn't hold up. It used to, but it's just so greasy and just so heavy anymore. I just can't, just can't handle it. Congratulations. So I either go homemade or uh, dripping with cheese. <laughs> well, I, I just make myself a grilled cheese and tomato soup. Bam, hobo pizza. That's depressing. <laughs> Oh, so what are we doing next time, well, buddy? Next time we're gonna be finishing up the floor. We've got one more stage and we've got the boss. This is gonna go by way quickly. Yes, it is. And eh, we'll pay the man right now. Why not? Pay the man. Ooh, there it is. Well, that's foreboding. We'll be having some more toppings next time on Pizza Tower. What?